Yellowstone's magma might destroy the U.S. in a Category 8 explosion. Yellowstone National Park's warning system says the dome-shaped upheaval is growing. Yellowstone National Park is in the gorgeous western United States. Its beauty spans three states, three of the nation's largest national parks, Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho, cover 2.2 million acres. Hello everyone! In this video, we will talk about the Yellowstone system alert and what would happen next. But before we start, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for regular updates. Let's get started. Experts have shown that this geological upheaval is worsening, raising concerns about Earth's most geologically active locations. It startled scientists worldwide. Yellowstone National Park, a big behemoth rests in the western U.S. Only a few little movements have woken this slumber after 7-0-0-0-0 years. When this behemoth wakes up, it may have unprecedented power and size. Yellowstone National Park, a vast wilderness in Wyoming, Idaho, and Montana, has a supervolcano. The volcano lies in northwest Wyoming, where Yellowstone is mostly located. Yellowstone's surface magma, or molten rock, underlies the supervolcano. The ground rises and swells as magma flows into a magma chamber 6 to 10 kilometers below the park. However, the ground lowers and stays there for years after the lava hardens. Since 1923, Yellowstone National Park volcanologists have monitored them. Their measurements showed that the ground was elevated by 25 centimeters. Due to a sense steady rise, scientists have worried that it may erupt soon. Naturally, such an explosion's strength worries everyone. Past, present, and future. Underground activity has raised concerns about a major eruption. The volcano has expanded faster than ever in the last decade, causing greater devastation. Yellowstone experiences 1,000 to 3,000 earthquakes annually. Most people don't perceive shocks under three magnitudes. These earthquakes can tell scientists how fast the magma chamber under the park is being replenished. If the quantity and strength of these tremors increase significantly, magma may have been introduced to the reservoir. Scientists claim the magma chamber rumblings weren't a hazard, but humans haven't been able to observe and study Yellowstone well enough to know for sure. This makes Yellowstone predictions difficult for geologists. The volcano's ancient history has taught researchers a lot. Yellowstone's geology displays three big eruptions in the last 2.1 million years. Volcanologists estimate these blasts occur every 600,000 to 800,000 years. 640,000 years ago was the last major occurrence. The park and thousands of kilometers around it feel its effects. Magma and volcanic debris cover most of the U.S. Louisiana has volcanic material. Each explosion collapsed the Yellowstone supervolcano, engulfing trees, mountains, and everything else. This valley is a caldera, like the Yellowstone supervolcano. An earthquake would create a caldera in Yellowstone, a natural hazard. Scientists claim the last Yellowstone explosion was 1,000 times larger than the 1980 Mount Street Helens eruption, which killed 56 people, damaged hundreds of square kilometers of Washington and Oregon, and wiped out numerous animal species. The Yellowstone supervolcano blew thousands of years ago, spewing ash, molten rock, and poisonous gases. Darkness's shadow covered much of the land as this column ascended thousands of meters. After the explosion, pyroclastic flows, hot, dry rock fragments and gases move frighteningly. These rivers rush in and ruin everything. Magma also erupted, burning kilometers of countryside. The Yellowstone caldera still shows the massive explosion. Caldera covers 50 kilometers by 70 kilometers. The lava field is covered in volcanic ash. The caldera and colorful geysers in gushing pools make this 3472 square mile park a natural spectacle. Magma and superheated fluids traveling beneath the park cause these intriguing occurrences. Norris Geyser Basin stands out, 
Over 500 hot springs are northwest of the caldera. These noisy geysers and pools change, indicating volcanic activity. In the past 20 years, this region has changed even more. The basin, larger than Chicago, has experienced unpredictable inflation and deflation. Understanding these changes in a highly active volcanic location like Yellowstone is tough. Scientists examined decades-old satellite-based radar and GPS data from the Norris Geyser Basin. They modeled below-ground changes based on above-ground changes. They found a magma mass under Norway in the late 1990s. The confined magma fluids began to bubble out and travel through the complicated rock network above. These fluids hit impediments and generated tremendous pressure, lifting the land. However, when the fluids found alternative ways out, the pressure was lifted, deflating and sinking the ground. Geysers In this heated section of Yellowstone, the steamboat geyser shows how fast and radically things may change. This 400-foot geyser erupts frequently. Big bombs have occurred every few days for the past 50 years. Since March 2018, Steamboat Geyser has exploded weekly, startling everyone. The geyser erupted 32 times in 2018, then 48 times in 2019. A 4.9 magnitude earthquake in March 2014 ended the Norris Geyser Basin uplift. This disrupted the tranquility. After this earthquake, the ground steadily rose and fell. By early 2019, the region was five inches higher than in 2000 and stable. Magmatic intrusion caused elevation from 1996 to 2004. The magma chamber pressure dropped as the dissolved fluids escaped as it cooled. Deflation is like a blimp losing air. In 2005 to 2013, it lowered the ground. For years, rock layers have trapped fluid. This generates an unanticipated ground rise. Scientists have struggled to describe this magmatism geothermal cycle. Michael Poland, director of the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory of the U.S. Geological Survey, believes the new model is promising, but proof is few. Other fluid sources could include recent heavy rain and the magma body. Pocket residents live below and occasionally emerge as the environment changes. This choice illustrates the situation's complexity and the need for more information. The study team suspects magma-derived fluids near Nora's geyser basin. Geothermal eruptions created thousands-year-old craters. Hot water in a geological pressure cooker creates these craters. Water boils swiftly into steam if the rock cracks. Unfortunately, this is almost impossible to predict. The complex network of subsurface tunnels and passageways in the rock, which change in subtle ways that can cause an explosion, complicates the problem. More eruptions are unknown. The study team doesn't think the region should be closed to visitors, but it does wonder if magmatic fluid buildup caused steamboat geysers' abrupt rise in outbursts. The basin's movement cycles may have enhanced activity in the 1960s and early 1980s. Stevo geysers' peculiar behavior is uncertain. Steamboat's increased activity and magma intrusion coincide, although the cause is unknown. Scientists want to study water chemistry. Still, the fact that scientists can explain these astonishing shifts illustrates how much information has been collected and how far modern scientific procedures have progressed. That's it for today. What do you think about this incredible discovery? Let us know in the comment section. Please like and share our videos. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for regular updates.